Hello, everybody. I am here today with Aliza Ben Shalom, the author of a brand new book. And I'm just so excited today because I've reviewed a little bit of the book, but I haven't read the whole thing yet. And um, I wanted the world to know about the book because I'm a big fan of Aliza. She just has so much knowledge for daters and she's helped so many people, as she says, get over their hurdles and under the chuppah. Um, I just want to present Elisa so you can hear about her new book. Elisa, show us the cover of your new book. And um, I, I So it's called Virtual Dating. Uh, it is all about, you know, a guide to a relationship in a socially distanced world. And I mean, I, I think it's exactly what we need during these times. Right. Um, how did you pick that title? Oi. <laughs> I think we went through a dozen titles. It started out as I'm virtually yours, which sounds a little bit more like a romance no novel than a nonfiction. And uh, I just wanted it to be very clear what it was. I didn't want there to be any question. From the title, I wanted you to know exactly what it's about. And it's about virtual dating. And it, it just says that. I didn't want it to be confusing or like one of those hidden meaning things. Like, let's just say but, it like What, it what is. is virtual dating mean? So virtual dating, I tell people it's different than long distance dating, right? Long distance dating is we're dating from a distance. Social distance dating or virtual dating is we're dating from a distance. We don't know when we can see each other or how or if or cross borders or countries or it's virtual. It's I'm going to live dating you like this through the computer or over the right. phone for right. an extended period of time without meeting you. Yeah. I think the whole world of dating has been changing over the past few months and it's, it's challenging. So I, I have a couple of dating right now. I'm a matchmaker and I have um, a girl in upstate New York and I have a guy in LA and they haven't met yet. And they've been talking online and, and FaceTiming and all this. They're hoping to meet soon, but what advice would you give them that's in the book that will help them? One thing that I tell people is when you meet in person, no matter how long you've been dating online, you've, you've had your virtual dates and maybe you've gone out virtually 10 times and you've been talking for you know, several weeks or months or whatever the timeline is, when you meet in person, it's not that you're starting at zero, but you're starting at zero for in-person meetings. So all of those hopes and expectations that you have beforehand, just throw them in your bag and put them on the side and hold on to them because your in-person impression is going to take a while to catch up to this visual image that you have in your head of this person that you've been virtually speaking to. So don't be surprised if you meet them in person and you're like, oh, hi, you know, and, and your brain's not exactly happy about what you're seeing. It, you might need a little bit of time to catch up to just being with them and enjoying their company. Okay. All right. I'm actually going to send a copy of your book to each of those um, uh, people who are dating long distance. I think it will. I think it will help them. I really do. Um, who else would be helped from this book besides um, besides long distance daters? So anybody who's dating in any realm can be helped by this because it's dating wisdom for the modern world. And in addition to that, anybody who's working with or helping singles, so whether you're a parent or a friend or a matchmaker or anybody who's involved in the dating and relationship process, you can gain wisdom and tools from this because there's a whole workbook, you know, as you go through each chapter, I give you a to-do list of things that you should work on. And so these are guides and ways that I tell people to go through the process. And if you learn those tools, you can help somebody else to go through the process. So it's great for singles and it's great for anybody else who loves or wants to help a single. Wow, that's fantastic. Okay, I have one more question for you. Um, chapter 13 says, from I like you to I want to marry you. What is that about? That's my favorite part of the book. Uh, it's really going to be its own book. You know, that'll be maybe you'll see, I don't know if it'll be my next book or my next next book. But that's all about clarity. That is all about figuring out is this person in front of me who I like, the person that I actually want to marry, that I want to pick, that I want to say, you're mine for a lifetime. That's it. I'm good. I pick you. The rest of the world, nah. 
And I think that that's the hardest thing that we struggle with. We meet people, we meet good people, but the question is, do we meet somebody who's good and right for us or are they just good? Mm -hmm. If they're good, they might be good for somebody else, but they have to be good and right for us. And so that chapter is all about clarity. And I have a program that I developed and you get kind of like a little taste of that program. It is called Illuminate and it's going to be turned into a, a web app and also probably a book and there'll be more contents, but this is like the mini version of it. And it helps you to gain clarity in your relationship and figure out, is this person for me or is this just a good person? Beautiful. I just want to tell the world, Elisa, a little bit more about you. You have a website, marriagemindedmentor.com, and it's full of information about you, your team, what you do in the world. And my favorite part are the webinars you've been doing on Thursday nights, um, sharing your wisdom with the world. And people can listen to those webinars by going to your website, marriagemindedmentor.com, and you can go through all the topics. And... Um, Get there's free. Over, there's, huh? over 20 point, there's over 20 webinars. They're an hour and a half and they are packed, packed full of wisdom and information. Some of the stuff from the webinars, um, we transformed and we put some of the wisdom into the book to infuse it with, you know, a more full bodied um, dating experience for people. And it's, this is the, there's like the visual version. There's the written version. We have a lot of, um, a lot of content available. Beautiful. And Elisa, one last thing. I'm going to let you end our little interview together. You are a person who loves to give brachas. And I know your middle name is Bracha. Um, and we are making this tape on the era of the new Jewish New Year. It's era of Rosh Hashanah today. Can you give all of our singles that we want so much to get married, can you give up them all a bracha from you? Absolutely. So I just, to get ready for the new year, I just went out front and I had um, bought rose petals, like a whole gigantic, like eight mini bags of rose petals. And I walked all through my front yard, you can see it on Facebook, and I started sprinkling them out and wishing everybody a, a, a good new year. And I said, um, may each and every one of those petals represent a different blessing in your life. And may this year be full of blessings and joy and love and especially finding the right person. I have tears in my eyes. <laughs> there I were a lot of rose petals. There were eight bags of rose petals. Seven, eight. I don't remember. There were so many. I could show you a picture. That it's just beautiful. I really, I really think that's beautiful. And um, and let's work together to get our singles married. Okay. All the best. Bye bye.